My name's uh, Stuart Pollack, which is uh, Lord, Lord Pollack. I, I'm a member of the House of Lords, which is the upper house in the United Kingdom, and it's an appointment which uh, I became a Lord in 2015. Are you a parliamentarian, essentially? Absolutely, yeah. You just had an election in, in the UK, and uh, it was critical uh, because this, what was traditionally what we would consider a Democrat party, has been uh, pull, drawn left. Left has become center in, in labor under this administration. What did this election mean for the future of the UK? Well, it was a very important election uh, because uh, you have to go back. What had happened uh, is that uh, the Labour Party had been sort of taken over by far left. Uh, a group called Momentum had taken over. So when Jeremy Corbyn became leader of the Labour Party, this was um, a very unusual thing that happened in, in our country. The two major parties have tended to be sort of either centre-left or centre-right, and the far left had taken over. So one of our two major parties had been taken over by the extreme left. So extreme left on ec economics, extreme left on other things, and of course in terms of, uh, of Israel and uh, Jewish communal issues, it, it was a great concern. And uh, the victory by uh, Boris Johnson uh, was really important for the Jewish community, it was important for the relationship with Israel, and it was actually really important for Britain as a whole. What parallels do you see now that the Americans are being faced with uh, with this new leftism in the uh, Democrat Party? Sure. I, I'm not an expert about uh, American politics, but there are definitely or seems to be a number of similarities uh, that has happened within the Democratic Party, where the, the sort of far left seem to have taken over and become central. Uh, you know, it's interesting because I remember when Jeremy Corbyn was elected, a lot of people in our and the Conservative Party thought this was great. He's unelectable. But things can change very, very quickly. And he became electable. And the problem was that his views, and I said this I remember at the time, his views, which are very difficult on so many issues, become central. In other words, they become part, if we're one of our two major parties, in being led by somebody who has views from the extreme, those views become centre. Mm -hmm acceptable almost and some of the things that he do has done or believed in become central to uh, society and so the defeat of Corbynism was really important and of course we were very fortunate that uh, we had a, a very strong campaign and not only defeated but trounced them and uh, they're now looking introspectively they're in the middle of a leadership campaign to see what they need to do going forward and one hopes they'll learn the lesson that going to the extremes doesn't get you elected. What advice would you have for traditional uh, Democratic Party voters in America? Well, they've got to stand up, stand up for what they believe in, shout it out, and uh, you know, it, it took in the end in the UK for some of our leading members of parliament who are friends of Israel, for instance, they left their party. They couldn't be there any longer, uh, but they played a very important role. You know, there is an element of fighting from within. I mean, you've, you, you know, the, if you leave the Democratic Party, the, uh, unless you cross the floor, across the aisle, as you call it, there's nowhere to go. Uh, I think that um, they need to fight and need to shout it out. It's like anti-Semitism and like any of these things. If you, if you stay silent, it'll continue. Is this an issue just for the uh, presidency, or in the, your case, the prime ministership? Or do you see this as an issue uh, uh, on the local election level as well? No, no, entirely on the local election. I mean, in, in Britain, it was what, what they did very well was go across constituency to constituency and start trying to take it over, as they have done in the Labour Party. So although we won, the remnants of the uh, numbers of 200-odd Labour members of parliament in the House of Commons today, Many of them are of the ilk of, of and believe in the views of Corbyn. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to uh, rid themselves of, of, of this far left extreme views. Thank you very much. That's a pleasure. Very well.